We are here today to check out some more cricket. But should we just call it like Cricket Tuesday or something like that? <laughs> cricket Tuesday. Cricket Tuesday. Cricket Tuesday. It's so true though. Okay, well first so of all, true. Mitch Johnson, Brett Lee, MS Doney, with all that boring stuff out of the way, this is a very important, <laughs> momentous occasion. Hello, Born Review Nation, Gabe, Nick, and we are here today to react to another Cricket Tuesday. Cricket Tuesday, dang it, I was late on that one. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> are you who jumped the gun this time? Uh, no, you're good. I was just, you know, brain fart. <laughs> uh, anyway, man, you want to tell them what we're gonna watch? Yes. So once again, Cricket Attic. You know, Jody was asking me, are you gonna do all his videos for right now? As long as he lets us, probably, because copyright claims, you know, the struggle is real. And, you know, he gave us a great comment the other day. He said, you know what, your videos are almost more fun to watch on your reactions than on my channel. So I really appreciate that. Uh, we think they're a little better on your channel because you're the one that's creating them. But he has this video. This was the one that I really wanted to react to um, first and foremost. And so we saved the best for last. And we're looking at 10 brilliant presence of mind in cricket moments. And presence in mind, I don't know fully what to expect, but I can just make an inference here and assume that, you know, when you're in that heat of the moment, you're in that clutch moment, you just, you know, in that you're still able to think about things that are either going to get the job done or maybe like, you know, you're catching the ball and then someone drops their their beer and you catch that too. I, who knows? But to have the presence of mind in the heat of attack to still be able to make the right call, I'm super excited to check this out. And we really appreciate Cricket Attic for giving us permission on these videos and uh, look forward to reacting to more. Definitely, definitely. Stop by his channel and show him some love. Um, you know, presence of mind. I remember one of the things that – when I was boxing, they used to, you always worked longer. So for instance, you would go and be on the heavy bag for three minutes. You'd be, you know, on the ropes for three minutes, whatever, you know, as you do the gauntlet in the gym. So they'd always make us work an extra round. So instead of, if you're doing six rounds, you'd work 12, you're doing eight rounds, you do 16. And it's because when you're fatigued, you can't think, you just got to be able to react, have that presence of mind to, 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 you know, do something almost involuntary. You know what I mean? It's got to become an a, a actual reaction. So that's what I'm, I'm assuming this is like when an athlete does something without even having to think it is have the presence of mind to do it. It's just, you know, that those instincts kick in, but let's find out, man. Yeah, let's do it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out other Cricket Tuesday videos and check out Cricket for Americans, our other channel that's nothing but cricket. CFA Nation, baby. <laughs> All right. In three, two, one. Oh, A.B. De Villiers. This time he goes over to the leg side. Uh, <laughs> excellent bit of work from A.B. De Villiers. You wouldn't expect anything less. <laughs> wow. He's a superstar, isn't he? Gold on his shoulder, but so close to that line. What an mm. athlete. Really and you know that's got to hurt the hand, athlete. too. Just bare hand oh, yeah. hitting that back. Wow. I don't think he's hit that far enough. Yeah. Oh, has he got it? Has he got it? He might have taken the <laughs> That's sick. Work there on the look, look at the batter. Like, really? <laughs> he made that look easy. Backhand, almost backhanded with his left hand, which he is left-handed. Oh, my God. Just take a look at that. That's, for a start, that's brilliant. I need to throw it so high. Oh. Split second. Time to get out and then back in. Yeah, that's like you, you just react, bro. If that was me, I would make that first part by luck, and the second part, I would drop it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's awesome. <laughs> Andre Russell. Can't do. Yeah! In the air. Fielder is out there and over his oh. head. <laughs> 
Oh, it's a double. It back in, however. Making a double. Sensational work out there. He was never going to catch it, and if he did catch it. We've seen this from the Australians. Now look at this one. This is NBA stuff. That Ooh. is superb feeling. Andre <laughs> Russell. The word yeah, on him is so he can back and bowl when he's well Aliou. Wow. Throwback right here. Good question. Good question. It's gone under the stumps. Has he run out? I think he's been thrown out. Let's have a look at this. It'll be an interesting decision. <laughs> he just that slid is, that back. That is hilarious. It's like. Bloop. Wow. Fighting hard, go, it's out, there's no doubt about it. Brilliant piece of reaction from the Australian skipper. The and baggy a green. Sweep there. Big shout was for LBW, this is going to be O-U-T, out. Wow. Shane Warner is going to be brought into the attack from the members' end. Wow. It's very clever. And the question is asked, this may well be out, according to the reaction there of, uh, of Healy. Well, they look one way, throw the other way. Wow. Yeah, he He's missed it with the, the bat. That was Jeter-esque right there from that playoff game. Tony and Reyna. Want the run. Get it quite easily in the end. In fact, they're looking for two. Wow. He's knocked off the stones on the ground. So what, he waited till he was safe, and then when it bounced off, he ran? You can do that? That's crazy. That's the first time I've seen that. Yeah. It looks like MS Doney with the long hair. I like it. <laughs> Aaron Finch. Just a push drive. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> Oh. oh, that is so, so good. Oh, He's One-handed. Well, I thought we'd seen the catch Look of the season at Old Trafford. This is phenomenal. Oh, man. You know, not just from Adam, not just from Andrew, uh, Adam Ly. The reactions of Finch to grab it are just to pull it down. That is awesome. Draven. Raul Jawed was operating early on with uh, two slips. He's taken one off now. And uh, there's a new field position for Kamran Nagmul. And I think this position, they expect him to play officially. Wow. Straight away. How do you Fina catch that? Made a lot of sense. Everything went <laughs> according to the plan. She's like, you got to be kidding me. Dude, he hammered it. Oh my gosh. Talk about soft hands right there. Yeah, he goes short and it goes down to deep backward square and almost well taken. Brilliantly done by Paparazzi. That's so crazy. Talked about the use of that short ball. Just riding the wind took it a little bit. I mean, all of that in less than a second. <laughs> Raul David kicks the ball one time. What? <laughs> what just happened? I don't know. He kicked it away. Oh, he, you can kick it before it hits the wickets? I didn't know that was legal. Well, 
you know what? Think about it. It's leg before wicket, right? But technically, his leg wasn't in the way. So it's after it had already he had he made slight contact with the bat. It was still going towards the uh, uh, wickets. Then he put his leg out there. Yeah. I'm assuming. Let us know in the comments, man. Yeah, I'm gonna need some explanation on that last one. I can see why that was number one um, voted by Cricket Attic because man, I mean, and that ball was so close. I mean, very middle school. The other thing I learned from this, a lot of things I learned. But one of the things I learned in this video, it's not just baseball where you get the good game, Pat. I saw when Dravid made that uh, screamer catch, he got a few good game pats on the bottom there. You know, you think that's just in baseball. It's happening in cricket too, my friend. Oh, man. Football, you see it all the time too. <laughs> I mean, it's a, a, a sportsman thing, you know what I mean? Yeah, it, I don't know for sure. Play, whatever. But, uh, yeah, you know, I, I've never seen that. So – I'm trying to equate it to something where you're just like in professional sports. You know what you do see all the time? Presence of mind in the NFL, right? Guy goes down. People think he's down, but the whistle hasn't blown. Then they get up and keep running. Oh, it turns out their knee wasn't down. They rolled over on another body. So technically they're not down by contact and they get a a, a, a touchdown that way. That's presence of mind. You know, you know, you didn't, you weren't touched or for instance, or that you weren't tackled. Um, Dude, my chargers have the worst presence of mind. I can't tell you how many times, seriously, I can't tell you how many times that the guy gets tackled and in, or the ball gets fumbled, and none of the guys on the Chargers team thinks about, well, maybe it's a fumble. Let's scoop it up and try to run for a score on defense. Nobody does. The offense eventually wakes up, picks it up, and they score a touchdown. It happens way too many times. Presence of mind, that's when you, your head is in the game 100%. You know, in the Little League, they say hustle, hustle, hustle. Run everything out. You never know what's going to happen. Always be ready. Don't assume this is going to happen so you're not going to try and you know those catches where they're making them before the boundaries and they're shooting them back up like a like the guy said, like a basketball player. Those are super impressive. We see that in the NFL and in college football on the guys on kickoff returns and punt returns, punt returns specifically, where they're just trying to you know hit the ball so it goes in the one yard line so that they can then down it. The um talk about the kicking team so that the other team has to start as far away as possible. These guys have so many skills to be able to do this where they're just they set their feet, they do the little slap, and then they set their feet again. It's it's unbelievable. I wonder how you practice for something like that in cricket with those balls. You know, dude. I tell you what, repetition is a mother of learning, specifically in, in sports. And you talk about having soft hands. One of those drills we do with shortstops, which I'm assuming, and I've actually seen something similar like this in cricket. You see where they practice it, where they either hitting it with the bat or hitting it with the or um or or just bouncing off the ground, and you're just picking balls, picking balls. I've done this drill for a straight a solid hour with Trey, and he's got to go. Front hand, back hand, front hand, back hand, front hand, back hand. And it's almost second nature. You know what I mean? So he picks it one way, he picks it the other way. He picks it one way, and he's just dumping it. I got a whole bucket of balls, and I'll, you know, toss them 50 or whatever that way. Go through it. He goes back, puts them all back in the bucket. Go back to one knee, front hand, back hand, front hand, back hand. So I'm sure they got that kind of repetition where once that ball's there, they know without second nature how to catch that ball. It's just, you know, just, just reflexes. But – to have the presence of mind to do other things like, oh, let me kick the ball before it hits the stumps because I've made contact. That's really – that's awesome. you can teach that. You know what I mean? That's like you said, having that presence of, presence of mind. You don't practice that at practice. But, you know, from what I've heard from Raul Draven, I mean, it, it makes sense because this guy, I mean, he's the great wall. I mean, he didn't really – I mean, he cared about runs, but he was all about protecting those wickets. So even his appendages, his legs are about protecting those wickets and making sure he doesn't let even an inch happen to get him out. Um, but it's, it's cool that we saw some familiar names like Andre Russell. And we saw, you know, Raul Dravid a few times, MS Doney. We saw a few names there that we recognize, Aaron it's Finch and whatnot. It was cool. Definitely. Definitely. Guys, let us know in the comments. Uh, is there a particular play you know, presence of mind, that, you know, that was like, oh, that's awesome. Maybe we can find that clip online and check it out. And um, let us know also, because we were still confused. Are you allowed to? We still confused about how Raul Javi was able to kick the ball. Is it because the bat technically hit the ball first then? Because it's got to be leg before wicket, right? So, you know what I mean? That, that, that kind of confused us a little bit. Yeah, totally. And, you know, 
Thanks so much, Cricket Attic, for allowing us to have this partnership. And, you know, hopefully we'll be able to do more videos. And don't forget to check out some other videos that we have on Cricket on this channel, especially, like I said, Cricket for Americans. Check that out. Please like and subscribe. It helps our channel out considerably. And, you know, stick around. Watch the next video that helps us out as well. But we hope everyone's staying safe. We hope wherever you're at, you know, things are starting to loosen up a little bit and stay and are more and more healthy. So you're able to get back to work and you're able to weather this storm. But we appreciate all of you. Until next time. Six runs.